If you want to learn more about optical transport concepts and Juniper Network's optical transport offerings, be sure to check out the Complete Optical Transport Primer e-learning series on Juniper Education's learning portal and Juniper Network's instructor-led packet optical transport workshop, Open Line Systems. And now, to the learning bite. Hello and welcome to this learning bite. Our topic is creating sites and discovering network elements using Juniper's Pro NX Optical Director, or POD. My name is Meir Petler, and I am with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning bite, you will be able to describe the process of creating a new site definition using the Pro NX Optical Director, describe the process of discovering network elements and associating them with sites using the pod, be it TCX family elements or Junos based elements, and explain how a user can track the process and verify the success of a discovery using the pod administration log. We will be showing the features of the ProNX Optical Director or pod using an optical network deployment example that we have in one of our labs. This is a drawing of the network we will be working with. As you can see, the network has three sites where each site has a Rodem node within it. And those three nodes are configured as a Rodem ring between the three sites. The Rodem ring in our network is not yet discovered or configured. In our discussion, we are going to focus on one of these nodes. We are going to discover the two Rodem elements that make up the node. The node 2 site is the site we will focus on in this example. It is equipped with two TCX1000 RDM20 20 degree Rodem devices that are connected as a 2 degree Rodem node. 1 degree, the DAT211 device, is looking west, and the other degree, the DAT212 device, is looking east. These two Rodem elements are interconnected via one of the UX port in each element using a fiber pair. These devices are set to use the standard 96 wavelength grid using a 50 gigahertz channel plan. We will see how we can start configuration of our system by executing the network element discovery process on the pod to enable the pod to assume control over the nodes. We will start our discussion by logging into the ProNX Optical Director web portal. The first screen that we encounter is the dashboard, which is populated by a number of widgets. Some of those widgets are already displaying a little bit of information, as we already have one Rodem device that has been discovered on this system. What we are going to focus on is the equipment discovery aspect. Other learning bytes will touch on other configuration options within the pod. To start the network element discovery, we access the device configuration screen by clicking on devices in the top menu bar. We are in the devices screen and we see that it is divided into three parts. We have the site definition part, we have the device and device discovery part, and we have the side menu, which is actually divided into two functionalities configuration and the inventory. Taking a peek in inventory, we can actually see the one Rodem device that is already discovered. We see the actual Rodem device and then all the components within that Rodem device. We'll go back into configuration. And now what we're going to do is create a site. A site is where we are going to place our service node. I'll click new here and I get the map screen. I can create a site by using the map feature and placing the site on the map, or I can put in coordinates as we'll see later. I'm going to place my first site in Ottawa in Canada. I'll call this site Ottawa, node one. Save and okay. We can see that the site appears here under the site list. And also here 
as a header in the device list. I'll create another new site and I'll call it Boston Node 2. And we can see the new device here. And I'll create our third site and I will place that site in New York. And I will call that New York Node 3. Now we have the three sites defined. Now that we have the sites defined, it is time to discover our equipment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to the devices box and I'm going to click on the discovery button. We can see that we have two highlighted options or options that are active, device discovery and resync network. And we can see that we also have three grayed out options. Those options will become active only when devices are going to be discovered. Right now we have nothing discovered in this pane. Let's go to the device discovery functionality. And the pop-up box for device discovery is asking us, where do you want me to look for that device? In our case, we are going to be looking for the device at node 2, Boston. We'll go for the first device, 211. I need to give it the username and password so it can log into the device. And I can also place it in the appropriate site. Now that we have the device placed in the site, I can also specify where exactly in the site the device is installed, in which building, in which room, in which rack. Right now we'll skip that and we'll just go to discover. While we are discovering, we can monitor the process by going to the administration screen and we can see that we operated a discovery process and it ended with success and the device was discovered at this address. Let's go back to our devices menu. Lo and behold, under Boston Node 2, we now have a new device which is a Rodem card. Let's find another device or let's discover another device. We go to device discovery. This time around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask to look in a range of addresses between 211 and 212. And I'm going to provide the user ID and password for those devices and place those devices in my site. You see that once I selected the site, the discover button became active. So let's see what's going on. Yay, we have the second device discovered. If we look at the administration screen, we can see the command to discover this address range was issued, ended with success, and we have discovered our two devices. To recap, in this learning byte, we demonstrated how the ProNX optical director can discover equipment and how we can create site definitions and associate equipment with sites. This concludes this learning byte. Thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.